So let's talk about the four trunk bags at LV. The top ones that I really like. Like, you know what? How get it done? Good God. Welcome to today's video. So for today, I would like to talk about LV. As you can see from the title, uh, I went to LV randomly because I was at Gardens. I just wanted to collect uh, Ang Pao packets or red packets from Hermes uh, that my essay kindly reserved for me. So I got one box and inside, I think there are one about, um, there are just 10 uh, envelopes inside. So this year, 2023, is the year of the rabbit. And this is how the red packet looks. Really pretty. Um, as you can see, a lot of Hermes influences. The clochette, the padlock, the horseshoe, all the auspicious symbols with the stars and um, fish, Japanese carp or Chinese carp. And this part is the interesting part where you can kind of turn it um, and uh, you can see the rabbit right here because it's the year of the rabbit and then basically it has the horse horse as well uh, which is obviously Hermes's logo as you can see here the horsey comes up if you turn it so i think my nephew is gonna love love this one so i usually um do give red packets or lucky money uh, as with chinese tradition even though usually only married people give it up but even though i'm not married yet <laughs> i still give it to my close family uh, like my immediate family this year um my nephew is two years old so obviously he's gonna get one as well so uh guys if you're new here my name is jen um and my channel focuses a lot on uh fashion uh luxury uh, beauty and also jewelry and also just lifestyle in general sometimes i share uh, stuff that has nothing to do with shopping as well so yeah if you're interested do stick around love for you to subscribe to my channel and to see you again and also um give this video a thumbs up if you like it so guys today i did my lashes um so i thought it was a good time to record a video so the lashes um, i did for chinese new year so i do uh, eyelash extensions most of the time but sometimes when i get a bit lazy i just don't do it but since i thought it's chinese new year i'll do it so you can see uh it's a bit different as if i'm wearing falsies all the time so obviously these will shed after about a month so you need to uh, continually get it done if you want to maintain um, the look I think it's very uh, convenient for me because I'm not good with mascara you know mascara just smudges all over my eye and I do think I look more awake uh, with um, the nicer lashes so so today we're gonna talk about four trunk bags uh, as you can tell from the title we're gonna talk about the side trunk which is super hot came out last year and then we are gonna talk about the uh, camera box which is something new to me uh, petite valise which is a tiny little suitcase which is so cute and so uh, exquisitely made and of course not forgetting the papillon trunk which is a trunk version of the papillon design that they have had at LV for uh, many years. Let's talk about the side trunk first. As you can see, I am quite biased towards it. You can see a lot of footage on the side trunk. And the side trunk comes in two varieties when it comes to materials. One is the signature monogram canvas. This is my super old travel wallet from LV that I've had for about 20 years. And then the other one uh, comes in fashion leather. So fashion leather is different from empreinte leather, although it looks a little bit similar. It is a bit shinier and also thinner. And it is um, it has the LV logo and the fleur de lis embossed all over. So I'll show you some pictures because it doesn't reflect well off my iPad. So in terms of the side trunk, let's talk about um, the, the design, I guess. So apparently the chief designer actually got inspired by the iconic Petite Mall and wanted to make a more body-friendly shape, of which I totally agree. And it's called the side trunk uh, because of the side S lock 
and obviously I love the metallic corners and they do have feet at the bottom on the metallic corners so that is great it has two handles um, longer one a thinner one and a slightly thicker shoulder strap one where you can see where I tried it on um, at the boutique in terms of pricing, it is 18,900 ringgit. So uh, you do have to check your own country's websites for the exact pricing. But what's great is that LV lists all the prices on the websites. Because of the differences in taxes and duties and stuff, there'll be slight variations. And obviously the cheapest place to get it would be in Paris or uh, especially or even in Europe compared to places like Asia but according to my essay uh, she told me that the um, trunks if you want to get LV trunks apparently it is still cheapest to get it in Malaysia and we do see people coming to Malaysia to buy a lot of LV especially in the past um, the Chinese people from China the mainlanders would come over um, to Malaysia to buy and just in case you don't know I am Chinese but I am uh, Chinese Malaysian so born and bred in Malaysia uh, so um, yeah guys so I love the design of the side trunk tell me what you think I think this is the bag that I'm gonna get the most use out of and also you know kind of fulfill my trunk dreams because the actual LV trunk which they still sell by the way it's like uh, not only is it super expensive I'm not really gonna use it a lot of people use it as furniture from what I heard from my LV essay but I don't think I'm at that level yet to use to buy a 150,000 ringgit trunk as a coffee table and who knows right I know that some people still travel with trunks but um, if you don't already know LV started out as a luggage maker especially trunks and uh, just a fun fact I read randomly that um, you know um, that some people actually some guys actually found uh, uh, an LV trunk of the Titanic you know after the horrible accident under under the ocean and you know when they opened it up the stuff inside were still intact and no water got in so that really goes to show how high quality LV's trunks are and so you know to fulfill my trunk dreams I think the side trunk would be a viable alternative I can totally see myself carrying it to work uh, for casual days etc the leather one is slightly more expensive compared to um, the monogram canvas one which is about 3000 ringgit difference but I think you know um, Monogram canvas is also a great bet, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Vachetta leather. Uh, if you guys recall, I do have a mini pochette in the monogram canvas and I gave that to my mom um, because I didn't quite like the patina but also because she wanted it. So I was like, okay, since I'm not using it, I gave it to my mom. <clears throat> so I love the uh, metal detailing at the four corners and you guys know how much I love buckles and padlocks and stuff. That's why I love the Birkin and Kelly as well and I love the side lock. To the side and i tried taking stuff out uh, putting stuff in and taking stuff out the uh, top of the bag actually opens up so it's very flexible and so um, it shouldn't be an issue when it comes to putting stuff in of course you're not going to fill it to the brim and it's lined with uh, microfiber so it does look more luxe uh, with kind of a light brown microfiber at least the monogram canvas version that i tried however if you want to get this back even in malaysia you need to wait even for the monogram canvas for about two weeks and if you want the leather one it would be about four weeks so the leather one comes in this really dark brown very rich dark brown color and also in black but the black one will come with a um, silver toned hardware so that's a little bit more uh, fun i think a little bit more a casual and rugged the black with uh, silver tone hardware combination but also very nice very very well made bag i'm quite impressed but maybe it's because i haven't walked into lv in the longest time so now i'll show you how it Lovely. looks on me this is how the uh, side trunk looks on me i actually like the shorter shoulder strap because you guys know that i'm not like really much of a cross body person so how do you think it looks on me somehow my dress matched all the monogram stuff today i love the detailing the four corners they have the metal uh, corners and there's feet that's the camera box here uh, with the nice buckle in front um, and here i'm just like you know looking at how even though the side trunk is really structured the um canvas is obviously quite malleable and it is quite slouchy also if you want it to look slouchy so you can push 
the kind of the center portion down like this exactly and it will have a slightly different look so apparently the fashion leather not on front the fashion leather which is embossed with the LV logo is also quite malleable according to the essay I keep I kept staring at the uh, side trunk actually and just admiring the detailing um, the fact that it has two straps really good so now the second bag is the papillon trunk uh, you know it is a tubular shape to me it looks like a sausage and then uh, it comes with brown trim which, the, which is the one I tried and a white trim one in terms of pricing it's about 14,500 ringgit also comes in the monogram canvas with the leather trim so there's no vegeta leather so uh, vegeta or oh, sorry or oh, vegeta so there won't be any risk of uh, patinaing it has two straps uh, it has a metal shorter shoulder strap and also a longer crossbody strap in the leather either white or brown depending which um, colorway you go for so i i tried it crossbody and i also love how the metal chain hangs down like kind of a decorative um, accessory on the back love the uh, s lock again and then okay they call it a baguette shape not really a sausage shape and then um yeah, it is really really a cute one but i think this one is more really for weekends casual days and not really uh, for very feminine looking dresses in my opinion it's more of a casual rugged style i think it went well with the casual dress i have to on today so you can see how it looks on me i also like the way it opens up and you can see all your stuff at one go and you have no problems putting in a small wallet your phone even the 14 pro max which is my phone um, and also like compact powder keys lipsticks um, no problem at all for the papillon trunk i prefer the papillon trunk to the regular papillons with the zipper pull because i think this is a lot more unique and very very cute also i'll show you uh, how it looks on me and also try to source for photos of um, other people trying it on so in terms of uh, measurements it is um, 19 uh, time by 9 uh, centimeters and by 9 19 by 9 centimeters uh, so it is quite sizable not super big but obviously not super small either uh, quite a usable bag just don't think it would look right for work even though yeah i just think so i mean that's my opinion but if i do get it in future i'll probably just save it for the weekends and it is fourteen thousand five hundred ringgit in terms of pricing so guys this is how the um bag looks on me as i mentioned i do like the way the um chain dangles off but here i am trying it off uh, on crossbody with the um leather strap or the uh, canvas strap actually and then uh, here you can see the gold chain dangling it's like an accessory for the bag and obviously it's functional as well i've seen people tie a twilly to the other end uh, because it's detachable and then you can kind of extend the length of this strap which i think makes it a bit more versatile in terms of how you can um, carry the bag on your shoulder and I think this has a slightly different vibe from my usual handbags but it's just a very very unique um, shape, um, the papillon shape so the papillon shape is actually the butterfly where the tubular shape is the body while the two straps are the wings so the next bag is the petite valise it is, in terms of pricing, it's much higher it's uh, more than double 36,500 ringgit it is, uh, was released in Cruise 2022. It is basically a miniature version of the uh, Louis Vuitton suitcases with the top, top handle and also comes with a shoulder strap which is made of vachetta leather. Uh, so it will patina if that's something um, you, know, you, you care about. It will come with a name tag and it is trimmed in brown leather with LV all over. Uh, in terms of the measurements it is 22.5 centimeters by 17.5 by 11 so if you can imagine um, a bigger version of this uh, wallet slightly bigger just slightly taller here but it is almost the same in terms of the height obviously width would be uh, you know this is not a good one sorry so in terms of width it will be about this width without the cover part so this is obviously an Hermes shoe box and a shorter with a cute little suitcase handle it's like really carrying a mini miniature suitcase obviously it is very very well made uh, i really like how it looks but it is super heavy guys it is um definitely not for a day-to-day -day kind of use 
uh, and I love the internal, uh, the inside of which I will show you as well. It has a quilted kind of quilted sides lined with the quilted beige. Uh, and then it has a zipper pocket in the middle when it opens up so it should be quite easy to use if you do intend to use this uh, but I don't think it's great for shopping or um, work for sure because it is pretty heavy and it doesn't quite look right doesn't look quite right for work uh, shopping not really I think it's super heavy but if you're going out for meals etc that would be great and then uh, if you want to personalize it you can have LV commission some painting on the um, front and the back of the uh, little suitcase so I will share a link of Jamie Chua's video she actually did a personalized version which was really pretty uh, in the description box down below and you can have a look at her petite valise I think she goes into a lot of detail so I love the uh, buckle the S lock on top uh, and um, just like a miniature version of the um, LV suitcases close-ups of the petite valise and then the essay was putting on the shoulder strap for me and this is how it looks on uh, on my shoulder and as i mentioned my dress today just seems to uh, match all the monogram stuff really really well and i love the um basically the miniature version of a an lv suitcase and here you can see the detailing the lvs all over the uh, brown leather trim and this is how you write crossbody, which I think is a little bit less comfortable because the handles stick into under your chest area. This is how it looks uh, handheld with the strap. I think I prefer it without the strap, to be honest. Uh, when you open it up, this is obviously lined in leather, as I mentioned earlier. And then um, it has the three compartments with a zipper compartment in the middle, which is really, really pretty. And you can definitely personalize um, this and I was just admiring again how it looks although it is pretty heavy and I don't think it's um, really practical as a bag per se for and me coming in at number four the last bag that I tried is the camera box which is also quite expensive same price as the petite valise uh, 38,500 ringgit it also has a top handle like a suitcase and a shoulder strap made of vachetta leather it has the um, s-lock of course s-lock closure and then uh, it is also trimmed in the same uh, with the metal at the corners it is hard sided for sure and it has a um, it is lined in leather I'm sorry for the petite valise it is also lined in leather so it's not microfiber uh, so obviously you know that also makes it heavier and also a lot more um, expensive of course so it really opens up really nicely exactly like the old style camera box uh, camera boxes if you've ever seen one so um, it is really really unique this is not something where you will this is not a bag of which you will see somebody else using usually on an average basis so i notice a lot of people use it for special events and stuff you know i always say i don't have a lot of special events to attend so it doesn't really um i guess suit my lifestyle but if i had a lot of extra uh money you know just for collecting i'll definitely collect the camera box and the petite valise because they're so unique and you can still use it even though obviously not on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of the measurements it is 17.5 by 21.5 by 10.5 so it is quite sizable and as you can imagine it is kind of a vertical version of the petite valise almost but with more depth when i open it up it's also very easy to uh, look for your stuff because of the way it opens up i'm just not too sure i'm not sure if you can see it like opens up like this but i'll show you afterwards as well uh and also a picture so it's just that i don't think it really is um you know what i want to spend right now at lv to be really honest with you so the side trunk i think is really the best bet for me finally the camera box uh with the shoulder strap here as you can see on me it is a uh, really a very heavy bag actually and you know people usually use it for events not so much for work or even for shopping because unless you really don't mind the extra weight if not it is gonna be pretty tiring by the end of your shopping trip or if you're just going out for meals you know this would be a very very cute and unique bag to use and i think also this is another collector's item piece which I think, you know, if you are in the market for collecting LV trunks, this is definitely a great piece to have in your collection. So as I mentioned, uh, I think you can already tell from the four bags that I tried today, 
I think the side trunk is the most practical one in terms of value for money, in terms of uh, quality and you know basically it just appeals to me the design, the aesthetics and um, yeah at first I was worried that it might be a bit too structured and look like I'm carrying a box but it's actually quite soft in terms of the body so it is quite malleable and uh, I know not everybody would like the boxy handbags um, like me but I, I do like the boxy handbags like my mom said why are you carrying a box when I showed her the photo but um, it's okay it's very personal it's really personal preference and I really really like the uh, more unique shapes at LV versus like the um, regular bags like like the never fools that like I just never got into a speedy you know they are classics obviously but uh, I don't know why I just never got into them so it's just my personal preference so uh, guys I'm really really interested uh, in your thoughts what you think let me know which one you think looks the best on me and uh, which one you would pick actually if you were to pick one of these four um, yep and also if you do pick the side trunk which would you prefer the leather one versus the monogram canvas so I couldn't even try the leather one I couldn't even take a look because there were basically there's no stock not even for display in the in the store so I'll go to another store this weekend when I'm going out with my girlfriend to see if they have it in the LV Star Hill which is near Pavilion KL so um, thanks for watching guys again appreciate it leave me your comments and thanks so much for all the new year and christmas wishes you know uh, and i really hope that every all of us have a great 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 uh, 2023 as well and i hope to see you soon uh, maybe with an unboxing or maybe with another chatty video let me know what topics you're interested in and i also thought of doing a uh, recommendation video of uh, handbags below 500 dollars below 500 us dollars because you know we don't need to always need to buy like top dollar handbags all the time right but you know there are lots of contemporary brands that look really pretty and are really well made as well so let me know um, if you're interested in that in that and also i've been buying a lot of skincare and skincare devices lately so and i think they do um i do see improvements in my skin like i asked my best friend who's super honest so um yeah let me know if you're interested in that as well and i hope to see you really really soon um thanks for watching bye